why? So Splatoon 3 is right around the corner, and we got a ton of information of new specials that are going to be added to the game. So I wanted to make my own little tier list and just kind of predict how good or bad that I think they're going to be. But before we get started, I want to say two things really quickly. I did not get these images, right? Somebody else completely got them, not me. You know, I don't want to take credit for that. And two, I'm gonna get rid of the D tier. I just don't think it's fair to put any special that low when we haven't even played with it yet. Okay, so I gotta say, this one that's supposed to be kind of like the Stingray, kind of not, I think this one has some potential. I don't think it's gonna be like phenomenal. I don't think it's gonna be S tier because I'm not sure if you can like control it or not, but either way, I think it'll still be really good at putting pressure in a certain spot. So I'm going to just put that in A tier. I think that one's gonna be pretty good. I think this is the new Ink Zuka. I think so at least. And once again, long range pressure, being able to just do all that stuff from a range, probably going to be a one hit kill, just like Inkjet. I think it has a lot of potential. I'm also gonna put that in A tier. Now the ink vacuum. Okay, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions on this one, right? Like, I heard it's gonna be like super overpowered in like splat zones because you could easily hold it on the splat zone and nobody will be able to take it. I'm not sure if it'll be able to be easily approach from behind like if you just approach it from behind to take out the person that's using it and not only that but like have we seen it absorb sub weapons or special weapons or is it just from the main weapon because if, if that's the case i don't think it's going to be that great i don't think a lot of people are going to just purposely shoot their main weapon into it so i had to put that in one in c tier funny enough this is actually the special that i'm most excited for I just think it'll be really fun to mess around with it and have fun with it, but I feel like on like a competitive state, I have to put it in C tier. And now for the zip caster, okay. I don't know, that's gonna be a tough one really. Not sure about this one either because it's either going to be really good or really bad. I just think it depends really. Like I don't think it's gonna be terrible, but you know, if it's like inkjet, they could just camp it out right at your jump when you're coming back. I'm not sure if you're gonna get any buffs while the actual special itself is activated, so if you're just still as vulnerable as you always are, I'm not sure about that one either. But the crab tank, okay. I think the crab tank has a lot of potential. I'm gonna put that in S tier because it just looks like it can do a lot of things. A lot of pressure. It can move around too. I just think this one's gonna be really good. And for the triple ink strike, okay. I think that this one's gonna be pretty good too. I'm not gonna put it in S tier. I don't know if it's gonna be quite that good. But on its own, I think it's gonna be really good. Now the new bubble shield, I think this one's gonna be really good. So like in Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, the Rainmaker carrier could not get the effects of armor or bubbler. But in this, I'm pretty sure that like, unless if they make it so that the Rainmaker cannot like go into the bubble, the amount of times that you're on the Rainmaker, you're about to get that final score and you just get splatted right at the end there. That wouldn't be possible if this is in a good place. Or if you place it right at the clan basket and let and just let your team get a ton of scores in. So I think this one's gonna be pretty good too. Kind of situational though, just for like those like pushing situations. I think I'm gonna put this one in B because it's good, but I feel like it's gonna be more situational. Inkjet, Inkjet is always good. You see, Inkjet is kind of similar to the Inkzuka in this game, so I'm wondering how it's gonna be different. I think that's gonna be right on par with the Inkzuka Reef Slider. I'm really excited for this one. I think this one's gonna be really good. Frontline weapons, you can just get to approach, hit them really quickly, form a lot of ink around you. So if you don't necessarily kill everybody in the vicinity, you can still get away decently easily. Not to mention, you could cap the splat zone probably really easily with just one of these. Just like how the splashdown in Splatoon 2 can cap the zone, I feel like that this is also gonna have this use as well. But since I'm not entirely sure if, if you could easily get cancelled out of it the same way you could get cancelled out of splashdown, I think I'm gonna put it in B tier. Okay, this one right here. This thing, hear me out really quickly. This does not seem amazing, right? Right here. Hear me out on this one. It looks like it takes three hits from the actual, like, shock to actually splat somebody, right? And the marking, you know, that's pretty good too. But the fact that they might have to jump to dodge it. Now let me say, when you're jumping in this game, or at least in Splatoon 2, we'll have to see in 3 as well, you're really vulnerable. Not only are you stuck in the air for a second and you can easily get taken out, you're easy snipe targets when you're jumping. You're reticled on splatter shots and blasters those go crazy those get crazy large 
and it is so difficult to aim while you're jumping. So if you like throw this in the splat zone or on the tower and force the enemy to keep on jumping, that's gonna put them in a really bad spot sometimes. So I'm thinking that this is also gonna go in B tier because it's gonna be situational too. Ultra Stamp is Ultra Stamp. I think it's really good. And then B tier. Now, don't get me wrong, I really like Booyah Bomb. I think this one's gonna be good too. Let's put Booyah Bomb in A tier. Now, the Tentacola. So, all of what you've seen so far is the speed boost that comes with it. But the they specifically said that there's going to be more buffs than just the speed that goes with it. So, maybe since they got rid of like damage up and main power up, maybe you'll get a damage buff too. And that could be really nice. Making like Rainmaker pushes. Like imagine if a Rainmaker could have a Tentacola and you could just like speed through after getting one. I think this one's gonna be pretty good. Maybe it's gonna be a little more situational. So I'm gonna put it on B tier. Inkstorm, okay, hear me out. Inkstorm was good before, but in the triple three-way Splatfest, you throw down an Inkstorm and you're not just covering one other team, you're covering two other teams with ink. So I feel like the Inkstorm is gonna be good too for the triple Splatfest. So I gotta put that in B tier. I don't know where to put these. I gotta be real with you. I think Tenta Missiles are probably getting nerfed in Splatoon 3. I don't know if that's gonna be the case or not, but even if so, picture this, right? Someone throws Tenta Missiles at you, right? You're trying to push the clam basket. Someone throws down the bubbler shield. Assuming that the bubbler shield can also tank specials too. If I could just tank a Tenta Missiles like that, then that'll be really good. Because even while ink armor could save you from a hit or two of the of the Tenta missiles, it's the missiles just straight up could not reach you. That'll be really good. And imagine if like the vacuum cleaner did absorb specials too, or at least maybe some specials, not all of them. Someone throws missiles at you and unknowingly is actually just charging up your vacuum attack. I think that would be really good. So I really don't, I really don't know where to put Tenta missiles. I guess it just depends on what they decide to do with them in the game. I feel like Tenta missiles might also be outclassed in this game. At least a little bit. I don't know. I just have a feeling that this game is gonna be not as missile heavy. So I'll put it in B tier. And I'm not sure what this is actually. Uh, it looks like Splashdown, but I don't remember seeing a Splashdown in the game. I'm probably just forgetting it. Oh well. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. If you agree or disagree, let me know where you guys would personally put all this stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!